Welcome back to the garage guys. Today we are going to be working on the old Mopar one more time, getting them spark plug wires on and getting it cleaned up so we can drive it. So a couple of housekeeping items that I wanted to talk to you guys about. First, before we jump into this project, and no, it has nothing to do with all the junk piled up around the car, although it will be dealt with because I gotta move it to get the car out. Anyway, uh, the seat for old Dale. I'm getting ready probably within the next couple of weeks to start getting that ready to put in the truck. What we gotta do is get the old seat out, the original seat, and get the brackets off of it and figure out how we're gonna mount them to this seat and then it should just mount right in. I've done this before a long, long time ago and as I recall, it wasn't that bad of a job. So we're gonna be getting to that very, very shortly. We're also going to be doing a distance to empty challenge on Dale with a gas can full of gas. We're gonna run it till it runs out of gas. You guys are gonna guess how far it will go. And stay tuned to my Instagram, which I'll post right here, because that's where the contest will take place. And then the video following it will tell us how far it went. So let's get back to getting the plug wires on the old Chrysler here, and then we'll get it out to the shop. Well, I guess we gotta put some seats in it first because some of that mess in the back there is the seats for the car. So we gotta get the seats back in it and uh, we'll take it out to the shop, give it a bath, and uh, then we can do some driving in it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys who watch this channel uh, really like this car and really enjoy it. I know Trucker Dave is one of them, or main trucker on Instagram, uh, really loves this car and he's been uh, ansing and dancing about wanting to get more videos of this thing. And I have too, I really miss driving it. Uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, I'm getting quite anxious to find out what's faster, the Chrysler or the old Chevy truck Dale. So uh, Junior's gonna help me with that. We're gonna head off to Mexico and uh, see if we can lay down some times and maybe some roll racing a little bit just to see uh, see which one's working better. So anyways, so let's get some plug wires on, get some seats in it, get down to the shop. So for those of you who don't know, Chrysler and GM share a firing order on their V8s, 18436572. So it's gonna be very easy to figure out where all the wires go because basically I know exactly uh, what the firing order is and it's laid out the same way with cylinder number one three five and seven over here two four six eight over here so let's get to it Okay, so we've got the uh, plug wires on and, well, to say that I'm not really impressed with these wires is a little bit of an understatement. Um, I bought the Taylor brand, uh, high energy series, eight millimeter. And as I mentioned, they're not necessarily custom made with a right angle clip on the end of it. Just the boot is right angle. The rest of the wire is straight. So. I'll, I just found it very difficult to get that kind of hooked into place on the cap and try and sense those rotors up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A lot of these boots are kind of sticking up all eod and uh, makes me wonder if they're really connected or if they're not going to jump spark. They seem to be plugged in tight. Anyways, let me show you. So if you look at these ones over here, the way that they're kind of sticking up there, like there's not a whole lot keeping them on there. They seem like they're plugged in, but we're gonna try and start the car up and uh, see how everything runs, make sure that I've got the firing order correct. So let's do it.
if you guys will remember in the first video about installing the carb on the car, and I'll link that right here, at the end of the video it was high idling and I thought maybe it was just, well, high idling stuck on, uh, the choke was stuck on. Well, in fact, I believe it was. And we're going to have to make some adjustments. Now, nine times out of ten, uh, these carburetors are fully adjusted so that you just put them on the car and plug it in, hook it up, and away you go. And I mean, this one did for that, for the most part. We got some fine tuning to do because uh, I've just run into a small little problem and I want to show you what I ran up against so that you guys might learn from it. So the problem I was having was I was having a big gap between the idle adjustment screw and this plate. And I've gone so far as to take off the throttle cable, the kick down cable, and even the cruise control, which really isn't even hooked to anything, and the gap was still there. But when I went over to the other side to try and adjust the choke, which is controlled by this piece right here, it goes back. And as you can see right now, the choke is open right there, or supposedly closed, but it's open too far. So we're gonna have to adjust it so that when the choke is on, it's about like so. But before we can go too far, what I've come to the realization is I don't want to be making too many adjustments on the carburetor yet. This throttle cable is at its max adjustment back here. So we've got to get this adjustment moved forward to take up that gap in there. Until we do that, we're going to be stuck with a high idle. So I'm going to see what's available out there for adjustable throttle cables and we'll probably end up buying one and getting that on there and, and make those adjustments but in the meantime um, I think we're done here for tonight as far as doing the uh, carb setup and making sure the plug wires and everything runs so now let's get the seats in it okay so we've got the seats in the car and this old dad bod is not built for 75 degree temperatures and 100 percent humidity. Whew -wee. I'm gonna call it a night guys. This is uh, we got the seats in, carb, plug wires is all ready to roll. Uh, I'm gonna come back at you when we get the car at the shop. We'll give it a bath, we'll get it all cleaned up, ready for some pictures, and ready to do some uh, Mexico stuff. Anyways, yeah, I gotta go clean up, get rid of this, and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, well, it is Thursday now, and the throttle cable did not show up for the old Mopar, which means, well, I can't drive it, because the way that everything is set up there right now is it's pulling too hard on the kickdown cable, and it's causing some whining noise to come from the transmission because it's stuck between gears, I guess is what they say happens there. So. We're gonna call this a video, and as soon as I get that new cable, we will get it installed, we'll get the car out to the shop, get it cleaned up, and we can start doing our side-by-side -side comparison between Dale, the 77 C10, and the Mopar, the 79 Chrysler Cordoba. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned a little bit, and I hope that you stick with me and subscribe to my channel, because we're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and right now we're kind of knocking on the door of 3,800. So if you know some friends who are into cars and who would like to watch some of my content, please share it out and make sure that uh, the name Old Car Guy gets out there. Uh, we do have some contests that we are announcing very, very soon. And we have our live stream starting up on Thursday evenings with Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. I'll put his link right here. And we talk about cars on the Car Guy and Six Fan show and we have guests, nice guests, funny guests and big name guests from YouTube. So you're gonna wanna watch our shows, stick around. The season opener will be on my channel on I believe it's July the 9th, which is the first Thursday after Independence Day. So I hope you guys are able to join in and watch us on my channel that Thursday, eight o'clock Eastern time, that's seven o'clock Central or nine Atlantic. I hope you can join in and be a part of the show and be a part of that live stream. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. See you real soon.